What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. All right, in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the um, uh, the three inch spacer that I made for the hood to go ahead and bring the hood up three inches. You know, this way it's uh, um, it's uh, uh, level with the body. And then um, the only other thing that we're gonna cover today, uh, it's not gonna be much, uh, it's just gonna be a few things, but we are gonna go ahead and uh, try to install the uh, intake manifolds um, as well as uh, some of the other pieces to the motor hopefully get the injectors installed, um, the CP3 pump, and, uh, and the common rail uh, uh, fuel system. So uh, let's not waste any time, let's get right to it. All right guys, so these are the uh, three inch spacers for the hood. Um, so pretty much all I did was just, uh, I just got two pieces of uh, angle iron. So one uh, piece of angle uh, iron is uh, here, uh, the, other one, the other one is right here. And then I just uh, drilled two holes uh, on the uh, bottom and then two holes on the top. Uh, and then I welded uh, two nuts on the bottom side of this so that, you know, all I got to do is just put the bolts through. And then I don't have to worry about, you know, putting a wrench in the back. And then um, and then I put two bolts in through the uh, the bottom and uh, welded the heads onto the, uh, uh, the back side of the angle iron. Uh, this way they didn't move and then uh, I put the nuts in through the bottom then all I did is just uh, box it in all the way and then that's it so the only thing this thing needs is just a coat of paint and it'll be done uh, I think I might run a, a small bead uh, uh, right across this line and the reason why is just to go ahead and you know get rid of this line um, you know just run a bead uh, grind it down flush you know so where you know it's uh, Everything is flush this way, you know, get rid of that line. Um, it is welded on the inside. So, I mean, it, it, it's not like it's, you know, it needs the extra strength. Um, I mean, I just kind of want to get rid of that line. Um, but anyhow, yeah, so that's, uh, those are the three inch spacers and they work perfect. Um, everything lined up good. So, um, so that's done. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the motor. So I think uh, what I'm going to start doing is installing the CP3 pump um, and then probably install uh i think uh whatever goes right here in the valley and then i'll uh, start installing the intake manifold uh and some of the other uh intake pieces and hopefully we have enough time to go ahead and install the injectors and uh the common rail uh fuel system all right so uh let's not waste any time let's get right to it all right guys so i just finished installing all the fuel injectors um just want to go ahead and remind you guys when you are installing the fuel injectors do not forget to oil up the uh um the o-rings on the injectors uh you know you don't want to damage those when you're installing them because you know that's gonna uh you know if you damage them and you don't fix it you know it's gonna create all kinds of issues for you um so now the only thing left to do is to go ahead and install the uh the cp3 pump which i have right here and um i'm also going to be installing the intake manifold half so let's go ahead and get to it all right, guys, so I just finished buttoning up the intake manifold system. As you can see, I uh, got the intake halves in there, got the wide bridge, I uh, got the CP3 pump in there. Everything's bolted up, it's good to go. Um, for those that want to know what type of silicone, <clears throat> um, or actually sealant, um, I was using for the intake manifolds, uh, this is what I was using. Uh, it's a Permatex uh, high torque sealant, and uh, I've been using that for a few years. It's worked pretty good, so I'm going to continue using it um so yeah so that's a shot on the ins uh the shot of the inside and uh as you can see it is uh it's finally taking shape all right so now i'm going to go ahead and move on to the cooling parts uh so that right there that's the uh thermostat housing uh so i'm gonna go ahead and clean all this stuff up uh give it a nice coat of paint um same thing with this uh this is actually the oil uh fill um and i'm gonna go ahead and paint that as well um i got the um uh, fuel rails right there and I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean those up make sure those are good um, Go ahead and make sure every, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take them apart and make sure that everything inside is clean The last thing I want to do is put any crap through my brand new injectors and the brand new CP3 pump um, So uh, yes, yeah, so I'll be sure to get those cleaned up um, But to clean all the parts up, I don't know if I've mentioned before, uh, but this is what I use. It's a uh, purple power I get this at Home Depot Works pretty good, guys. Uh, it is biodegradable, um, so that's a plus. So I pretty much use it full strength. I don't dilute it. I pretty much just put it in a spray bottle. Um, I spray the stuff down, let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes, give it another spray down, and then I start scrubbing it. And it seems to work pretty good. I mean, I've used it on all the engine parts, 
um, and everything's come out good. So, I mean, only time will tell how, how good all that stuff, uh, um, you know, how good all that paint holds up. But, I mean, we'll see. So, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, get this stuff cleaned up and uh, see how everything comes out. All right, you guys, so I just finished uh, cleaning all the parts. It came out pretty good, not too bad. I mean, look at the fuel rails. The fuel rails came out like brand new. So the only thing left to do is go ahead and uh, shoot a coat of paint on those. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have time tonight to go ahead and do that. Um, it's, and plus, it's also, you know, it's too cold um, outside. So, I mean, I'd rather do it tomorrow when I come back from work. This way, it's, you know, it's warm and, um, you know, I'll go ahead and paint those. Um, other than that, uh, tomorrow when I get back from work, I'll go ahead and shoot a coat of paint on those. If I have time, I'll go ahead and install the fuel rails and the fuel rail lines. Um, also, the ones that go to uh, each individual injector as well. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. I wish I had more content to post, but, um, you know, I really haven't been doing that much. And I really hate posting a video, you know, if all I'm doing is, you know, little things here and there. You know, I'd rather pull something up so you guys can see how much stuff is getting done to the Humvee. All right, you guys. So again, you guys, if you guys have any questions, any concerns, uh, uh, any comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below um, and I'll do my best to get to them. And uh, again, give me a thumbs up if you guys like the video and don't forget to like and subscribe. And like always, Gearhead Guy out.